Welcome to episode 15 of Sideline Bling. My name is Patrick Meehan. I am Mike Fuentes. We'll start right away with Cristiano Ronaldo releasing new boots, the Mercurial Dream Speed. Did you they, like them? They look like regular boots. I've seen the Mercurials a hundred times. You know, it's that time of year. Christmas is coming around and Nike's <laughs> got to make that money. Why not? New boots from Cristiano Ronaldo. I have some boots by Cristiano Ronaldo, Mercurial. Not this type, of course, they're brand new. But it says here that those boots make him a better player. They haven't worked for me. I yeah. haven't been better. They so. sell that. Every shoe gets sold like that. I'm still waiting to jump like Michael Jordan 15 years later. Speaking of basketball shoes, Nike enters their new Adept Nike BB. The BB obviously stands for basketball. These are the shoes that come in the huge box that you plug into your computer. I don't know how that helps you play basketball. Pick's gonna say that he likes it. I disagree right off the bat. I love them. I love them. They're very expensive though, $350. But, but I like them. I'm gonna get this for Christmas instead of the Cristiano Ronaldo ones. You know what's crazy? I'm a sucker for good packaging. So while I don't like the shoe, mm. the fact that it comes in this huge box and I connect it to my watch to make me think that I'm a better player, that's probably the best part of the shoe for me. <laughs> Basak Shahir. Basak Shahir. Basak Shahir. Basak Shahir. Irfan Khan Kavechi. Genkler Birl Kligli Yeah, you have no idea. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> I figured. Istanbul Basak Shahir is having fun with his gold celebrations on Twitter. They're creating gifts with their players, dancing. Mm -hmm. You're seeing it right now. The player named Irfan Khan Kavechi, former player of. You're never gonna get that name right. <laughs> I don't know why I complicate yeah. stuff for myself, but they're having fun. No, I like the gifts. Yeah. I like the gifts. I like the you know you gotta do something to have fun with it. I mean, also I can't really blame the players. There's obviously something concocted by the marketing team. At the end of the gif, you can actually see them laughing it yeah, off. Yeah, I was gonna say. So that. you know that's that's something that you know you gotta have fun with it on the internet, especially since they can't show looks like their own highlights, which is a sad thing. Who did more takes, us trying to get the names right or them with those dances? I'll tell you right now, he was practicing for at least five minutes five trying minutes. to save Vasak Shahir, but he nailed it when it came to, so one for Patrick. Everyone's favorite annoying Brazilian is once again in the headlines, this time for actually taking a picture showing that he's still friends with his own teammate. They were in New York, Neymar and Mbappe were, celebrating the birthday of model Cindy Bruna. It looked like they're having a grand old time in their very busy jackets. These two, I don't know if they were, never not friends, but these yeah. two can dominate the world by themselves. I think these two guys are two superstars, very big. Uh, they're clearly seven years apart, mm. but Neymar acts like a 20 year old. Yeah, actually I'd probably think that Mbappe is actually the more mature one mentally, well, but you know, they're both young guys. They're both Nike athletes. Mm -hmm. uh, they're playing for a team that is a Nike team. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is kind of like the perfect mix of the whole fashion branding thing. It's kind of perfect for Paris, honestly. We are in the middle of Super Classico semifinals in the Libertadores, River Plate and Boca Juniors. Uh, everybody's playing their own game, the players, the media, and also, of course, the sponsors. In this case, it's Quilmes with uh, Juan Roman Riquelme, Pablo Aymar, two idols from both different teams saying, play it uh, as friends. This is ours. We got to take care of it. Don't do anything stupid like last year and enjoy the football. What do you think? I'm sure this will work out exactly like they planned because, you know, when it's a beer sponsor no. doing this message, you know, it's kind of hilarious that most of the violence is probably fueled by alcohol, but now they're the ones saying stop. It only took the whole entire final of the Libertadores last year being moved to a different continent yeah. for people to get the message. But, you know, they shouldn't have gave Raquel May the kill in advance because, you know, he's going, oh. <laughs> Just saying. This is two uh, idols for both teams and two of my idols growing up, they were great soccer players. And now I like the message that they're giving out to the fans, you know, hugging each other, saying this is our product. We've got to take care of it because if we don't, People outside, like from Spain or from all the countries in the world, are looking at them like crazy people fighting. So they gotta give a good image to, you know, the people around the world. And now it's time for everybody's favorite segment, Kits and Fits. Emphasis on the S. I always get yelled at because I don't say it properly, <laughs> but we're gonna start with my boy Karim Benzema looking extra dapper on the cover of Vogue Arabia with that royal blue suit on and the white tee. Guy looks like he's ready for a night out in the Miami town, if you ask me. But you know, I'm glad to see that somebody in that Real Madrid team has swagger because I haven't really yeah. seen anything like this from anyone on that team. Imagine Modric posing like that, like Benzema. I don't think it works. No, good look by Benzema. Good yeah. look with the flower and everything. He yeah. just, uh, he has a career after soccer for sure. Yeah, excelling on the pitch and off. My boy, <laughs> Benz, big Benz. 
PSG has a little nice outfit uh, when they travel for Champions League football and Mauro Icardi is rocking it. All white, what you think about All white, the sunnies, he's got the super shades on, looking super suave. A little late for the Backstreet Boys video, just about 10 so years, but I like the look. I actually like the whole thing. The little red Nike thing really sets it off. PSG killing it again in the fashion game. Guys, it's 2019, and we all have to do our part in taking care of the environment. And the art of football is doing theirs. They're going to start repurposing some old kits into a nice-looking Gilligan-style bucket hat. They're nice. They're nice. But I can do better for the show, specifically Monterey hat. Retro, only three stars when we already have four. You know, you got to go retro nowadays. And... <laughs> You know, with the state of fashion the way it is, we can probably get that on eBay for like five grand. 100%. Yeah. The problem with these bucket hats is they're only making about a run of 10. So if you're going to help the yeah. environment, you might want to make a little more. And that's it for episode 15 of Sideline Bling. Remember to comment below, send in your suggestions, and follow us at Bean Sports USA. My name is Patrick Meehan. And Mike Fuentes. Peace.